Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video True Nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim, where you join me here in the, I suppose, sort of secret courtyard, right at the centre of Hogwarts, albeit it looks like it's overlooked by quite a few, like, you know, little bits and pieces and ramparts, and loads of people could have seen down into here, but whatever. Apparently this is a great big secret, and we've discovered a secret tunnel under the moon dial here, so me and Serana need to go and find her mother, who might be able to tell us more about what's going on here, rather than just, you know, finding three Elder Scrolls or whatever from some guy who's blatantly bloody evil. Still, let's find out what's going on around here then. So we're going into the Hogwarts Ruins. And if I can, I'm going to try and avoid actually using Vampire Lord powers. Because, yeah, Vampire Lord powers are powerful. Unfortunately, I'm not actually levelling up any skills apart from my Vampire skills while I'm doing it. So, fine. Full chain here. Not exactly a massively hidden room, but ah. Now, is she going to be alive? Because if she was a vampire, she could still be alive in here somewhere. Good old Serana's mother. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. I've never even seen this part of the castle before. Be careful. I don't know what might be around. Well, normally I'd say bad things, but to be honest, like, we're all vampires here, so, you know, blood and murder kind of just goes with the territory. And cute touch, if someone was hiding down here, they'd need a source of fresh water, and there's one right there. Bunch of buckets, bunch of water. Very, very cute indeed. Though, admittedly, I'm not sure where you got food from, aside from maybe just nipping out to hunt animals, but yeah, where would you get the fresh food from, or the fresh blood? Unless, of course, ah! Okay. Trail of blood. Hello, trail of blood leading upstairs. Yes, what have we got going on here then? And, oh, What's this? I mean, I guess she could have just gone to like a vampire coma where she wouldn't need blood. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Skeletons, right. Well, basic skeletons. Screw it. Dramora Lord, get in there. Help out. I'll just take care of... Oh, these are basic skeletons. Okay, that one's not. Okay, we just need to get that one down. Then the rest of them should be pretty simple, all things considered. Right, just... Oh, that's one of the hardcore ones again. One-handed up to 96. Very, very nice indeed. Right, hang on. Oh, most of them are not the basic ones. Let's just get you down. And then you... That's a... Oh, you are a skeleton. Sorry, I thought you might not be. Right. And Moira, just head over there. Lovely, this is going fine. So, well, Serana, I don't like you as a companion. Hanging out at the back, doing magic. That's my job, damn it. I think there's one more skeleton up there. Nope, took care of that. Lovely. Oh, no, maybe not. Ooh, a gargoyle brute. I think you're nearly timed out, so I'm just going to put you up front there. Ooh, coming for me, in fact. Right, hang on, hang the... No, jump, jump. Okay, never mind. You absolutely sure you want to come in? Ooh, Gargoyle Brute resists that? Well, that's a concern. Right, someone save me, please. Well, Lardy flipping da, Gargoyle Brute can actually flipping uh, resist being frozen with ice form. Dear, oh dear. Right, you stay over there. I'll take care of this, lad. Because I can handle this. Yep, fine. And then you just keep him busy. I'll just get around the back. I think he plays by vampire rules. So he's resistant to cold, but relatively weak to fire. Now, any chance I can have this guy come and serve me? Because I've got dread zombie right here. And... Nice! Got my own flipping gargoyle brute. Lovely. And you've got a skeleton. Mine's way better. Mine's so much better than yours, Serana. Screw you. Now, while we're doing this, I should totally get myself some additional souls with the bound sword here. Let's crack on. So, rooms at the end here. One door leads to... Open area. And we've got... Ah! More skeletons indeed. Fine. Not too surprising. So, everyone else go first. Where's the... Where's the gargoyle brute? Have you timed out all flipping ready? Dear oh flipping dear. Right, hang on. No, don't kill it. Oh, there it is. Hang on. I think it did catch up. Where's the... Where's it going? There he goes. Get in there. How powerful are you, by the way? Not... That good. Well, I'll have a soul. Thank you very much. I think there's more in here, actually. Who's there? Well, someone's probably in here. Or not. This is actually just a storeroom. Never mind. Though I will take some free gold, because why not? Flawless sapphire in there and everything. Marvellous. Right, keep going up. Oh, flame's turning on, which means something's about to flip and wake up in here. So prepare another. Yep. What a thought. So, right, let's get you up front. Her skeleton seems to last forever. There seems to be no timeout on that, which is kind of cool. And there's... Where'd Moira go? Moira just ran over there for literally no reason. All right, fine. Let's just get you down while you're not paying any attention to me. Blimey, these things are a bit on the tough side, aren't they? Right, I'm definitely bringing you back as a dread zombie as soon as this is done. In fact, presumably his soul's pretty big, right? Hang on, just, just hold on for one second. No, hold on for a second. There we go. Now we can kill him. 
get his soul at this point. Yep, lovely. And now just a couple more kills. Lovely, that's got to be a decent sized soul right there. And now around the back of the skeleton. And these guys are bloody tanky too. Everything's really tanky all of a sudden. Not used to skeletons actually being a challenge. I feel like I'm now going the right way, which makes me feel like I'm actually going the wrong way. So I'm just going to quickly nip back and see what was down that other branch down in the room below. The answer was a complete dead end. That was mildly disappointing. And go on then, just for flipping fun, as I've actually been having fun bringing stuff back today. I've got three perks just in hand right now. Let's get greater duration for reanimated undead. Marvellous. Also, why don't I have rage? I swear I already took rage because I had illusion... 70. That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna take it now. Possibly I did that and then like forgot to save or something. Or maybe I died. Maybe I did it then died. That seems more likely too. Right, well I've got rage now too. So now my frenzy spells work on high level opponents. Lovely. Right. You, my good man. Serana has apparently heard something. Conjuration's going up too. It's nice to have my skills actually got up again. Right, you, my good man. Go ahead and murder, like, whatever's through here. Because there's blatantly something through here. So go murder it. And just keep heading up and up and up. Inevitably back to... Ah! Here we are. New hallway. Right, you guys. You guys... Wait, where have you gone? Go, go, brute. Go, there we go. Go on. In you, in you go. How strong are you, by the way? You're pretty strong, right? I just want to check how strong you are. Oh, yes, you do. Also, hang on. I just need some flipping actual bound sword out here. Don't kill it. Not just... You're all useless. Oh, blimey. He just flipping destroyed that thing. And it's getting health back as it attacks too. I like my gargoyle brute follower. He's pretty cool. Well, sadly, he's timed out. And I'm pretty sure I know what's about to happen here. You're about to wake up because I need to pull the thing behind you. So go on, wake up. You may as flipping well. I know you're going to. Or maybe not. Or maybe this. Oh, no, sorry. The chittering is your skeleton. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure you are going to wake up sooner or flipping later. But alright, let's just let you get a free slashing on me or whatever. Pull the chain. Yep, thought so. Right, now you get to... Oh, you sneaky bastard. Yes, now they basically just get to get a few hits on me. Right, I'm just going to close the door on you. Screw you. <laughs> Can you open doors? You probably can't. Just like vampires, you probably can't do a thing to doors. Screw you, you stupid bastard. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Very good indeed. Right. So that's been pulled. Did that actually do anything, or is that just a way of activating him? Pull it again. What? What does that do? Ah, that's opened this over here. Lovely. So now I've got a way forward over here, and even more flipping stuff. Yeah. New Dramora Lord, while well, I just avoid the arrow. You just distract him. Get. Oh, blimey. You're pretty bloody tough. Well done, Moira. You've been taking your vitamins today. Uh oh. Right, problems though, just jump down the stairs. Once again, you just distract them. I've got support from all of these guys. Ooh, a sentinel. Bloody dar, are you even tougher? Oh yeah. You can really take shots all day though. Not that much, I think we're doing alright actually. Boom, lovely. Now we've got ourselves another thing that needs to be opened up here. Expert lock. And we could just go in there. But yeah, it feels like there's quite a big side area back here. Normally, Skyrim doesn't hide major areas behind... Ooh, hello. A glass bow of blizzards. Very nice. Anything else that's actually enchanted or no? None of the rest of this is enchanted. It's just basic stuff. Fine, I found the bloody armory. There's also an orcish battle axe of torpor over here. Okay. A few fun bits and pieces of enchanted stuff. And now we've got drama music. Because, yeah, the skeletons now know I'm here. And probably can shoot through the bars, but... I can't get through here. Wait, hang on, there's a pull chain. Yes, I can get through here. Right, so Moira, go and take care of all of that for me. These are just skeletons. You should be able to handle skeletons by yourself. And, oh yeah, you can totally handle... Oh dear. I can handle one skeleton. I don't know about two. Actually, if they're archers, that's not so bad. Have we cleared out the skeletons? Yeah, now we're in that room we passed by earlier. Though now they're waking up. But on the plus side, we've cleared out some of the lads up top immediately. So that's probably quite helpful, yes. So hang on, what have we got down here? We got, okay. One of you, Moira, go down there and help out with all of this. And I'll just head up top, see what I can do to support from the top room up here. 
there might be some more shooting downers. I'm sure Moira can handle the actual, you know, game and whatever. I'll just go around and see what I can find. No, I think I've just bypassed that area entirely. <laughs> now I'm just skipping the game. Nothing much down in this church, though. An old statue of... That's... That's Mara, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's Mara there, but, uh, yeah. A little bit on the neglected side. Also, your mother really liked skeletons, didn't she? She lived with a lot of skeletons. And big double door over to... Yep, more flipping gargoyles, unsurprisingly. Well, you're about... Well, one of you's about to wake up. Also, coffin. So if there was gonna be a place where, you know, in... Ooh. Hello. Okay, stairs leading up to them as well. I don't like this one bit. This many gargoyles could get very, very dangerous if all of these guys wake up. Ah, wait, hang on. This is where she was carving them out of rock. Oh, oh dear. Right, how many of them just woke up? How flipping many? Just, I'm just going to close the door for a bit. There we go. Moira can handle that. Serana, if you want to go in too, that'd be great. But actually, it's just a basic. Okay. You're a basic. They've got some regen on them. You're okay. As long as they're not like sentinels or all brutes, it's actually fine. Right, any more? Any flipping more? Yeah, more are waking up now, but that one's now. Ah, that one's a sentinel. But he only woke up after the other two were dead, so that's all right. Now, let's just get my one-handed up a little bit here. Very nice. Oh, yeah, we got the power to deal with this. These enchanted weapons are doing the job. In fact, actually, I just took out its knees and then... Slit its throat or stabbed it in the neck or something. No, I think I kind of I pulled my sword out from it without stabbing it in the first place. I'm not sure what that animation was supposed to be representing there. Whatever, that thing's totally gonna be my friend now. Ooh! Gargoyle Sentinel's too powerful even for flipping dread zombie. Blimey, you must be strong. Well, I'm gonna have a gargoyle friend regardless. So this gargoyle friend can be my friend. Right, now. What do we have here? We got ourselves Ah, wait, hang on. We've got ourselves two coffins. If your mother was here on her own, why two coffins? Who was the second vampire? Was it, ooh, vampire royal armor? Well, I like the sound of that potentially, yes. We've also got ourselves, ah, a silver sword. <laughs> I haven't seen one of these for literally the entire game. If I'd gone down the companion route, I'd have got one of these way earlier, but uh, yeah, effective against uh, skeletons, monsters, etc. Though, to be honest, I imagine by this point in the game, it's probably not that good regardless. So it's, oh, damage 44. Yeah, even if that does actually get, like, bonus damage versus skeletons, it's not going to counteract the fact that, yeah, my actual weaponry is much better. So I'll try improving that later, maybe put an enchantment on it, but actually I'm not sure what the multiplier on that is. If it's, like, if I can improve it a bit and the multiplier was, like, double and I could put a special, like, anti-dead enchantment on it or something, but I'm not sure such a thing exists... I'll look at it next time I'm back in town anyway. I don't think we'll end up using that, though. Right, over here. Now, what do we have? Well, game saying go in this direction, but... Nothing here. Not obvious anyway, and no obvious pool chain either. Okay, hang on, what am I missing? And when I think about it, that royal armour, hang on, the uh, royal armour of vampire, or vampire royal armour, rather. Ooh, hello! Magicka regenerates 125% faster. That's... That's actually worth thinking about for me. Because, hang on, my... Uh, yeah, my Master of Conjuration. That's 150 in Conjuration, 22% down. But with armor zero, my armor rating total is... I could, like, double my armor rating right now and barely sacrifice... Yeah! I tell you what, I'm flipping having that! <laughs> All right, uh, Serana, so hang on, me and you, me and you are now, oh yeah, me and you are now vampire buddies, nice, let me see, I don't really like the, the skin window, it feels like it's supposed to be a cleavage window, but there's no cleavage, like, it doesn't really work in any way, but whatever, me and Serana are now actually armor buddies, yeah. hang on, we've got a candlestick that can be turned, right next to the fireplace, although, watch out, there's blatantly something up there, more secret doors. What do we have here? Probably more flipping skeletons to fight. Seems like we're just heading up a tower here. Higher and higher and higher. Open the door. Ah, this looks important. Although possibly also the source of a little mini boss. Hello. What have we got? And Serana, can you make sense of this? Look at this place. 
This has to be it. I knew she was deep into necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously... something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. Alright, any idea what we're actually looking for, though? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Okay. And, yeah, your mother, the gargoyles. Yeah, tell me about the gargoyles. Was she actually literally, like, carving those? Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not... not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. And anything more you can tell me about the laboratory? I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. And any idea what her area of expertise was? Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. Okay, and any idea why? I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. Intriguing. Okay, let's have a looksy round. Try and find ourselves a journal. No quest marker. So we're just exploring for the time being. And also robbing the place blind if need be. There's a... Ooh! Daedra hearts and bees and all sorts of... That's a really big bee! That's a weirdly large bee! Wow, bees in Skyrim are terrifying! Ooh, black soul gem and common soul gem and common soul gems and black soul gems. You don't get many black soul gems. That's good. Hello, this looks special over here. Purified void salts. I'm going to guess that's a quest item because it's not listed as having a weight. Right, let's just quickly check all the ingredients on these shelves at the top of the room. Because anything that isn't listed as having a weight or a value might actually be important for performing a ceremony she was planning that might actually, say, get us back to wherever she's gone. Because having seen that, now I'm going to put a guess in that this here is some form of teleporter to, like, another realm, like Oblivion or something. And if I can just put the right ingredients on it, I can follow her there. So let's just see what we can actually find. Aha! I was just going over the bookshelf here. Got her journal. Nice. Harkin's short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I've warned him time and again that his foolish prophecy would cast far too much light on our people, yet he refuses to so much as listen to a word I say. Right. So whatever he's planning, she's worried that it's going to make vampires too uh, obvious and people therefore would unite against the vampires. I've had a breakthrough today. I was able to attune a portal vessel using small sample of ingredients, and I'm guessing one of them is going to be purified void salts. That would flipping make sense. I'm listing the components below without the proper amounts for my own protection. As a secondary precaution, I'm combining my own blood into the formula. Ah! Hopefully, Serana's blood would be close enough too. Fine. And then, uh, finely ground bone meal, purified void salts, soul gem shards. Good. All of that is lying around the room. Using the proper measurements, place the above in a silver-lined portal vessel. Add blood as a reactive agent. I'll make my way, gather my things, prepare for a potentially lengthy exile. Right. Lovely. I must enact my plans with Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. Right. So that's where I did find her, but it feels like Serana was supposed to be in on the plan. So, chat with Serana in just a second, but I'm not actually done exploring this place yet because we've got... Ah! Balcony! Sorry! I've just walked away from Serana. I thought like that's quite rude. And now we're up here. Lovely. Not sure exactly what we're supposed to be doing up here. This is just a... Balcony. In fact, there's nothing here. Well, technically, it's a location, so I guess this just lets me fast travel back to this room if I need to fast travel back to here. Fine. Now, let's get ourselves some stuff here. There we are. Soul gem for... Oh, wait, hang on. Soul gem shards. Right, so obviously it's those bits. Those are the ones I actually need. Now I just need some special, like, finely ground actual, uh, yeah, bone meal. It won't just be normal bone meal. It'll be a special bowl of the stuff that's somewhere... Also, silver portal vessel was mentioned. I need a special silver bowl. And I've already taken those, thank you, but all right, whatever. Well, there's some bone meal. I'll take that just in case that's what I need. But I feel like it's going to be a special type of bone meal, not just the one I find, you know, lying around in various skeletons. No sign, however, and I've totally read that one, like two or three times, in fact. 
No sign, however, of the special silver bowl that was mentioned. That is... Oh, that's, that's it. There. Oh, hang on. Finely ground bone meal. Nice. Okay. Those are the ingredients, but no sign of the actual, like, mixing vessel I need. Right, let's speak to Serana in case she can provide that final bit herself. Any luck yet? And indeed, I've got the notes and also the ingredients, but not the correct measurements. You did? Let me see them. And what exactly is the place she mentioned? I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. Okay, and why did she care about that? Because I, like, you know, pump soul gems into my weapons constantly and I don't care. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. Right, so we need to get into the Soul Cairn, fine. So, yep, I'll just say randomly reassuring things, though I don't actually know the full recipe of how to get there. Well, I kind of know a bit. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the Soul Cairn. Alright, and I've got what we need already, actually. A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Ah, oh, damn it. And I'm guessing the blood is a problem and yours isn't good enough. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Okay, well actually, yeah, you've got her blood. Would that not be good enough? Hmm, not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Okay, I've got all the ingredients, but yeah, what do we do about the measurements? Oh, good. Well then, let's head over to the portal vessel and I'll do the rest. Um, what happened to the we don't know the measurements thing? Because that was very clearly flagged as a potential problem, but alright, fine, whatever. And also now the game's saying where the... Ah! Okay, the portal vessel was just up here all along. Sorry, my mistake. So, fill the portal vessel. Boom. There we go. Shove all that stuff in. So that's in there, and I guess we're just assuming that's the right measurements. <laughs> Have you actually read this thing? Because I've read this thing quite carefully. It specifically says I'm not sharing the exact measurements. Right, Serana, what can we do here and where are we going? Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Well, it's going to open a portal and we're going to go through it. Or possibly, you know, I'm going through it and you're staying here to, like, add blood into the thing or whatever. Anyway, whatever, I'm ready. Okay, here goes. Alright. She presumably, like, you know, cuts her wrist or something. Ooh, that's a lot of blood. And open the thing goes. Nice. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, it makes a staircase. Oh, that's so cool. That's really, really damn cool. Right. I'm guessing we're just going in then, right? Yeah, or are you staying here to eat all the pies and I'm going in? Well, I'll go in regardless. Let's see what happens next. Boom. Let's go. Your mother must be waiting on the other side of that thing. Other side of... Ooh, blimey. Right. So, now we're in a crazy death dimension or something. And you've actually come with me, which is nice. And the portal's there. I wonder if time's, like, you know, acting differently. Ooh, it's nice. It's a bit sovngarde -y. Okay, so we just need to head through here and bloody hell, this place is weird. Can I actually- Ooh, I've got soul husks. Don't know what a soul husk is, but it seems crispy. It's not an ingredient though, okay. Oh, blimey, it's a food. Right, and I need to eat it to interrupt the soul drain effect in the soul can and resist 10% of magic for 10 seconds. Fine. When you say drain effect- what? What drain effects? I'm gonna guess there's a drain effect. Oh, hello! Who are you exactly? I yearn to see the great dunes of Hammerfell once again. Oh, I've got bad news. You're kind of dead and trapped here forever, so it's probably not gonna go very well. Right. What's this over here exactly? Because, yeah, now we're in just a weird place where everyone's dead or something. And what are these bubbly pits? Are they bad? Do we need to do something with the bubbly pit? If I step in the bubbly pit, are we- Nope. I can just run straight through the bubbly pit and everything's fine. Lovely. Oh, this is a very odd place, isn't it? Right. Never been here before. Not sure what's going on. Hello! 
Are you good or bad? Come back here. Oh, never mind. Uh, nope, doesn't seem to be interested in me. So I guess we just leave it be. That's just like a, a local or something. Hello there, what's your deal? I thought death was a release, not an eternity of torment. Right, so I'm guessing I should feel bad about all the people that I've actually used to power my weapons. Because as it turns out, they stay in this hell forever. But on the other hand, my weapon's pretty bloody awesome, so I don't feel that bad. I think I'm going to keep doing it. I yearn to see the great dunes of Hammerfell once again. Okay, that's the same thing that guy over there said. You need to come up with your own line. He said it first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are they now angry? Right, are we fighting these things or... No, no, we're not. What are we fighting exactly? We're fighting Bone Man. Okay, now we're just fighting some Bone Man. Oh, they're not very good. Actually, they seem to be not very good at all. They're just basic skeletons. Just, why are we calling them bone men exactly? <laughs> they just seem to be skeletons to me, but all right, fine, whatever. So, whatever a bone man is, we need to take those bastards out before they cause more trouble for me. Ah, but they're not all nothing. Some of them are a bit tougher than others. This bone man here seems to be able to do a fair whack of, yeah, resisting my quite powerful abilities. Though, admittedly, yeah, Moira is... Moira seems to be more powerful than me against these guys, so never mind. Get you down there. Lovely. Right. Got to be careful of these guys. Though, actually, hang on. Geob's Opus, page 6. Quickly stifled by the sound of over 100 wings, rising from the Foyada, whatever one of them is, is an entire colony of cliff racers, and they were out for blood. The blasted things had led me right to their nest and sacrificed itself with the intent of feeding me to its brood. It was a trap. The damn things had become much too clever. Knowing this was likely the end, I jumped down from the silt strider and hit the back of its legs with the... Okay. Someone has been here and is writing some form of novel out here. Okay, well that's interesting, isn't it? Uh, before we actually go find your mother in that case, let's just explore around the... Ooh! Harvest a soul fish. Oh! I don't have a pickaxe with me. Oh, wait, hang on. I don't need to. I can just interact with it and just have a soul. Where's the soul going? Is I'm, Am I putting it inside a soul gem? <laughs> oh, this is probably even worse than what I was doing originally. So, I kill people, steal their souls, put them in a soul gem... Then I send the souls here when I use the soul gem. Now I'm having the soul a second time so I can continue to use it. And now we've got a black soul gem right here. Yep! I feel like I am indeed summoning horrific bone men by actually continuing to... Ooh! Okay, bone men have really varied strength. Some of them are incredibly weak. Some of them, yeah, no problem at all. Nice. And we've got ourselves a house full of bones there. I'm just going to cast you inside to deal with anyone who's in there. Is there one in there? There might be someone in there. Hang on, I see some red somewhere in here. It feels like it's inside this building. Let's explore this place. Have a little look around before we go find your mother. So we can definitely get in here, but... Hang on, where's the... Okay, where's the actual bad guy? And also, where did Moira run off to after we came into the house of bones? Feels like it must be upstairs. Upstairs, just not sure how to get upstairs exactly. Okay, I see an upstairs. That's fine. But how exactly would I get up there? Can I cast a... Come on. Come on. You up there? Yes, you're up there. Good. Now, don't fall off. Do not fall off. I put you up there to fight that person. Go and take care of that bone man or whatever for me. You just fell off, didn't you? You bloody idiot. Seriously, just get over to the other side of the roof and take out the bone man, or can you not? Do you not like actually have access to that side of the building or something? Because I feel like you're not being that useful right now. Alright, if you're going to be completely bloody useless, I'm going to put Stormageddon up there. Because Stormageddon's got his lightning attack, so Stormageddon can just use range. Nice, that'll help. And then we've got a weird purple wall here. If I step... No, I literally can't step beyond that. Fine, there's no way to do it. Also, I'm not sure what the draining effect of this area is supposed to be. <laughs> I've been going around quite a bit. I haven't found any draining effect yet. Yes, going around the outside, there's a fair few small buildings. Buildings with... Ooh. Is that a massive black soul gem there? 
Because if so, that's pretty awesome, and I kind of want that thing for me. Right, massive building with an actual massive black soul gem up top. How do we get inside this thing? Also, I'll just have myself a few more souls there. <laughs> Another soul harvested. Not sure where I kind of, you know, put it or anything, but whatever, it's been harvested. And more soul husks. I'm going to grab all of these because I feel like I might, you know, need them down the line. Because I feel like I'm going to do something to this place and it's going to upset it. And as a result, I'm going to need that to avoid, like, you know, dying or something. Though I see... Once again... Ah, hang on. We've got a door over here. Bit of a door anyway. But yeah, these buildings seem to have very little way to get upstairs. Though actually, for once, I see some flipping stairs, which is nice. And from here, I can see not much more there. That's presumably where I need to go eventually, ultimately. The two towers over there. And there's something over there. Don't know what that is, so we'll go and investigate that next. But first, let's just get up here and figure out what's going on up top. Because there's... Ooh! Hello, you're up here. 1,000 steps and a 1,000 more. Okay, this guy can't even be bothered to stand up anymore. But I found my way over to... Ooh. Hoo, 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 hoo. Hello. Yes. Yes, I think I know what I need to do here. I have got my Wult ability. Nice. No, boo. Why didn't that work? Okay, possibly I wasn't quite high enough. Ah, hang on. I think if I was standing on top of this thing, I'd be just slightly higher, so it might work. Right. Forward as possible while still... No. Just actually be a bit further back. Make sure I'm on that thing, okay? Now, try it again. Gosh darn it, I feel like I should have got that. Also, if you die here, you start glowing. That's cool. Okay, alternative idea. Let's just try bats. I mean, I feel like bats just works exactly the same as that whole thing, but I'll give it a flipping go. Hang on there. Yeah, some bats. Let's just see if that actually works. Okay, that mysteriously works when Whirlwind Sprint doesn't... Ah! Right, vampires can't be here. I see. I see the problem. So humans can, but vampires can't. So I should really revert as soon as possible. Lovely. Uh, now, oh... Now, okay, so I'm still fizzling, but now I'm not actually losing anything. Right, the game's just figured out I'm a vampire or something. Hello. My ship? What happened to my ship? Where am I? Uh, I've no bloody clue. Also, search the chest here and we've got ourselves... Honestly, this was not worth coming up here for. Ah, hang on. There were stairs up to there from here. I could have just, right, I could have literally just walked around to the corner to get to this place. I didn't need to actually bats over there at all. I could have literally walked down these steps, then around here and up there, and that would have led to the exact... Okay, I may have been slightly overthinking that. Right, so down we go. Back down to the ground. Heal up any damage I just took there. And now, yeah, I want to head over to this building before we actually go to our actual destination. I think I've just left Serana behind, but that's fine. Me and Moira can handle whatever's going on here. And whenever I pass any of these here husks, grab them because they might actually be useful down the line for avoiding however exactly the draining here works. And I'll have another soul too, thank you very much. So, made it over to this thing. This thing doesn't feel like a building. This thing's just a, a weird big rock. Though actually, there's purple over there. Purple normally means, like, you know, good thing you can go into. Though actually, I think I've already passed by this this building before. Hang on, isn't this one of the ones I've been into before? Yeah, I think this is one of the ones where I went in. This is where I actually found page six. The first page I found of that journal. Yeah, that was in here. Fine. And then I see nothing more that looks like a building. But over there, I see some stairs. If there's stairs, there's going to be something over there. Here we go. Something a bit special, including a chest here. Ooh, Atronac Forge recipe for a Daedric Greatsword. Nice. And Okay, wait, hang on. I think I can just about read that a bit, because that definitely says Soul Gem. Like, spend Soul Gem. That's not actually not English, it's just like slightly wibbly English, but maybe I'll try and translate that later. Right, few more bone men. Moira's taking care of that for me. 
Okay, Joe, we've stumbled across another building that might be of use around here. You guys take care of that guy. I'll take care of this one. I think you've got a... Yeah, you've got some really basic equipment that's not going to work out for you, lovely. And that's actually led me round to another building that might be able to go into, or at least up to. Because, yeah, there's a massive black soul gem floating here. Now, if I get close to this, do I start going wibble, wibble, wibble? Yes. Yes, I do. I see the problem here. Well, that's fine, because I can just heal off whatever you're doing here, and that's all right. And that also gets me the next page of the book, or rather, three pages earlier. So he was tracking what he called a lingerer, a cliff racer without a nest. Fine, who eventually would try and lead him back to its chicks or something. Now we've got that, as well as... Ooh, a nice circlet. Crack open the chest. Ooh, black soul gem, Daedra heart, things, things, things. Uh, nothing particularly great, and then just keep healing up. Actually, I could just stand here forever and just basically grind restoration. <laughs> Logically, because I'm not going to die here. And I'm healing my magic fast enough, I can keep doing this forever. Because that's recovering uh, faster than my actual health goes down. <laughs> can I actually do that? Am I actually gaining restoration right now by doing this? Hang on, let's just actually check that. So I've got a level up to do. Keep that magicka ticking up, please. So restoration is currently really high at 68. Yep, keep it going for just a second. Yep, restoration just increased to 69. If you wanted to, you could just uh, actually grind restoration here forever. I don't want to. Feels a bit on the cheap and cheaty side. But, you know, if you want to do that, that's totally an option. Fine. So the drain that exists here is only when you're close by to one of those massive black soul gem things. Gotcha. Well, I think I've been into all the buildings that are actually buildings around here. So let's instead head through to the next area and further towards where she thinks her mother is. Lovely, including, yeah, more souls, new area, more buildings. This is cool. I like this. I don't know if I've got a new area, not just kind of, you know, new dungeons inside existing areas across Skyrim. Right. Anyone actually going to tell me anything useful, by the way? Want my advice? Never welch on a bargain with the ideal masters. They don't take it very well. The ideal masters. Also, what the heck are you? Hang on. There's, there's a weird thing here. Ooh. Hello. You're a weird undead flaming horse. And my vampiric powers are growing because I'm hungry. Right, okay, and I've just gained the ability to seduce. I want that horse. Please tell me I can have that undead horse and ride it around the soul can, because if so, I'd be happy forever. Hello! Well, look what we have here. Someone with flesh on their bones. Right, you seem to actually have a name and be aware and potentially willing to do me a deal or... We shouldn't be worried about that, by the way. That's just a thing happening over there, right? Yeah, I think that's fine. Hello there, Morvin. Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. How in the name of Zenithar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double-cross a necromancer? I don't know. To be honest, I suspect you're about to try and strike a deal with me when you're a ghost and I'm a necromancer, so... I don't know, possibly you just make terrible decisions in life. You got it. Horse, wagon and all. Plumped here without so much as a word. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. How people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Ah, you've still got your horse, don't you? Very funny. And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. Okay, I've got these delicious soul things. You could want one of those, potentially. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those ugly fungus-looking things growing out of the ground. Bring me, say, 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Nice, we've actually got a little kind of trading subquest here. And what exactly do you have, my good man? Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Well, used to gather before all of this nonsense happened to me. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. If you have the husks. I think I've seen your horse wandering around. 
You give me your demon horse, and I will be very satisfied. No husks, no sail. Guess you have some scavenging to do. Right. Time to go scavenge for 25 of those husks. Yes, that seems pretty awesome. Now we've got ourselves another... This place is locked away for the time being. Okay. Got to find a way to potentially crack that open. Right, Serrano, we're going husk hunting. And lightning seems to keep striking broadly the same few spots around here. So probably stay away from them if at all possible. Also, page 10 of this story. So, four pages afterwards. I was brought here for a reason. I should have died in those ash wastes, but Lord Vivek must have seen something inside me he hadn't seen in millennia. Decided to spare me from my fate. Thus began my ascent to sainthood. Thus began the rise of Giop. Right. I feel like I'm missing a few points in that story. Last time we ran into him, he was, you know, about to be fed to baby birds or something. And now he's becoming a saint. Let's have a little looks around here. So we've got just some little ruins around here, including, weirdly, weapons half pointing out of the ground. And up here we got something. Hello. What's this? Ah! Possibly this is a lightning rod that's drawing the lightning. Yes, use the lightning attractor. Okay, place a soul gem. Grand or great soul gems, place atop the apparatus. Yep, put a greater soul gem there. That presumably, therefore, attracts the lightning. Okay. That's good. Ah, it's also woken everything up. That's, that's less good. And that's just woken up some... Ooh, hello, hang on, what are you? You're a mist man! Lardy flipping dot and a wraith man. Right, okay. Lots of different variants. Admittedly, still pretty flimsy, all things considered. Still, new thing to do here. Ooh, blimey. You're just... Are you trying to run away? I think you're running away right now, but didn't work out well for you. Right, Mr. Mist Man. Hang on, where's his soul embers? Ectoplasm. Very, very nice indeed. Right, so these guys seem pretty flimsy. And now I know there's at least... Yeah, what did that actually do? I'm not sure what that really actually did that helps me. I mean, I've got, uh... Ah! Okay. So now I could do that again. But what will be... Ah, no! Right! That's become a black soul gem. Fine, so I can convert greater soul gems into black soul gems using these things, can I? Well, that's quite useful. Right, let's head over to the right, see what we can find around here in particular. I'm now looking for... Aha! There's a little cluster of soul husks. Want 25 total of them. How many have we got right now? I imagine we must be up to like 13 or so. And there's some more. Nice. Okay, good. That's another. It seems to be like in clusters of like two or three, which is quite bloody useful. I think we've got some more bone men or something over there. Hello. What are you exactly? That is. Nope. That is a wrath man. Fine. I think uh, hopefully Moira can handle that while I just go exploring. See what's going on here precisely. Again, another building that doesn't really seem to have much in the way of a purpose or a way to actually climb the damn thing, despite looking like it's got multiple floors. Okay, let's get around the back of one of these guys and help out. Oh, these guys aren't actually that tough at all. Just Moira's doing a really bad job today for some reason. Oh, you're tougher than the other guy for no one explains reason. Lovely. Finish you off. Very nice indeed. And I'm almost out of charge on this thing, and ah, okay, this tower's a bit more on the interesting side, and we've also got, ooh, hello, you're a keeper, whatever one of them is, I should probably recharge my weapon now. Right, fully recharged, now what's a keeper? It's like a ebony armor, but a weird ghost face thing inside it. Interesting. Right, and it seems to be possibly able to absorb, ooh. Was it just able to flipping? Oh, blimey. Okay, it's a bit on the tough side, actually. I need to stay away from it. Uh, or possibly, Serana's draining health from it. It can definitely hit very hard, but actually, we can hit it pretty hard, too. These enchanted weapons are doing the job. Nice. And where's its... Hang on. Where's its remains go? <laughs> Ghostly remains. Lovely. Black soul jam filled with weirdly grand... Ooh, a dragon bone battle axe. Okay. Can't normally get those without actually getting your crafting up to 100 or whatever. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I think we'll keep that. Right. Now, he was just guarding this here tower. 
So there must be a way to get in here and have a little look see what's going on in this here tower. Because there's clearly something interesting going on up top. So... Okay. No obvious door or anything though. Hang on, let's just loop around the outside. No! Nothing! No door, no anything. This place is weird. There's loads of buildings here. I don't really see any way, like, in or out of. If I just climb onto the little ledge here at the front, then loop around, I don't suppose there's any chance of a, a back way in. No. Nothing. That's really odd. So he wasn't even guarding anything. There's not even anything... Okay, that's just odd. Fine. You know what? Let's just move on to the next building that's lit up. Although, don't forget to pick up a cluster of these things as I pass by. Lovely. Soul husks. We must be getting somewhere with that by now. 22. Nice. Just one more cluster. We'll have a deal with that guy. This place looks a little bit more on the promising side. Something lit up here and everything. Hello, we've got a... Ah! Conjurath man! Okay. Moira, I've got... Uh-oh. Speaking of conjuring wrath man, there's... You know what? No, screw it. Hang on. I need my own wrath man for this. So, summons a wrath man from the soul kin for 120 seconds, wherever the caster is pointing. Fine. Learn that. Now, can we figure out how powerful it is? Because, yeah, my say... Conjured Remora Lord takes 243 to do and is expert. This is expert 204. Okay. I'll give it a flipping go. Summon my own Wrath Man there. Jump out of the side of the building if need be. And now I've got... Hang on, which one's... Which one's mine? Was that mine that just died in, like, seconds? Or was that... I'm guessing this one's mine. Hopefully, right? Because if it's mine, mine's done pretty well. Yeah, okay. John's Wrath Man just seemed to do a really good job hacking through those guys. And some of those guys have previously been identified as quite tough. So, you are quite like you've got glowy eyes and good armor and stuff. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Me and you can be friends. I need a name for you, to be honest. Good old Rathman. Actually, Rathman's quite a good name by itself. I could just keep calling him Rathman. Right. Well, I'm glad I came exploring because now I've got myself a new summon. Now... No sign of the little soul husks, but another building here, which you may or may not be allowed to actually go into. Who bloody knows? On this occasion, it's... Ooh, that doesn't like doors. Ooh, the Reaper's Lair. Hoo, 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 yes. Yes, I like the sound of that. Though, actually, there's also just a random skeleton here. Hello, random skeleton. You just... Ah, I'm guessing you might be... Someone just attacked me. Oh, this Wrath Man attacked me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How tough are you? Not that tough. Okay, that's fine. If my wrath man could just help out for a second. Lovely. I'm guessing this might be G-Up. Giving us a skeleton literally hanging out right next to a note here. And also the helmet just disappeared. Right, note. They warned me not to go through that portal. What did I have to be scared of? I've been adventuring for years. i never seen nothing I couldn't wallop. But this place... Ain't nothing living here. Just dead things up and about when they should be in the ground. I can hear their bones scratching at the rocks and knocking together when they walk. If I get home, I'll hang up my sword and never go out again. Nope, that's not Giub. That's just some adventurer who got here first. And he's got an iron great sword diminishing. That's not that good. We'll leave that be. And before we nip inside the Reaper's lair, I think I see over there. Yes, indeed. One, hang on. One, two, still one shy. Hello, you're a mysterious flaming ghost horse. I want to be friends with you. Can I be friends with you? Right. Can't ride it, tragically. Can't interact with it at all. There is, in fact, just a really, really badass flaming demon horse here. And I kind of want to be friends with it. But actually, over there, that might just be what I need. Hang on right there. Yep, that's going to be 25. In fact, that's 26 too. I think that's all I need over in no food. Yep, 26. Nice, but first, the Reaper's Lair. That does sound badass. Okay, and we've taken out one flipping Reaper. Guys, don't stop crowding me for a second, please. Oh. Right. So, lightning comes in here. Where is the Reaper in question? Ah. Okay, this is cool. Activate the Reaper Shard Receptacle. Right. 
Can I do that? You lack the required item. But I already killed the Reaper. Well, that's interesting. And there's just also some green goo floating around here. Right, well, I've killed a Reaper. Hmm. Did I miss something on its corpse that was important? I don't think I did. Reaper shards. Okay. Makes sense I'd require, you know, Reaper shards to do that. Don't have a Reaper shard yet. Okay, I'm just going to nip back to where I was. See if I can, like, you know, find something on the corpse if it hasn't already despawned. And here we go. Head back west towards the tower. Because it was the Wibbly Tower that's where he was. And then if I need to... And yeah, if I need to find my way back to his lair, it's due east from the massive Wibbly Tower. Now, I'm guessing those up there might be Reaper shards, but I'm not 100% sure. Here we are. Ghostly remains. I already took literally everything that was on his corpse and I dropped some stuff. Right. There was... There was nothing on his throne or anything. Yeah, like where he was sitting was up here. And there's nothing here. I mean, I feel like I need to get up there, but... I'm not quite sure... How? Exactly. Okay. Let's not worry about that for now. Let's just head back in this direction, see if I can find my way back to the starting area, because I've now got to hand over the soul husks to that bloke. I'm pretty sure he was in this direction. And when I say that, I've clearly just walked into an area where I've- Ooh, hello! Right, no, 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 no. Whoever you are, stop it and send in my own Wrathman support. So we've now got these guys who've got magic- Ooh! He's got literally ice inside his giant axe thing. That kind of makes it even more dangerous. That's really cool. Right. One Wrath Man and one Wrath Man of my own to get involved with. He's... Ooh. Right. This is quite a tough Wrath Man, potentially. Yeah, this one's way tougher than some of the others. Kind of unfortunate they don't have, like, you know, levels. Uh, it doesn't seem to tell you which ones are tough versus which ones are not. Still, let's get him down. Lovely. Job done. Right, another one up there. Let's just run through here quickly. Figure out what's going on in this big old building. Yeah, we've got more over here. Just some basic bone men. That's okay. They go down pretty quick, all things considered. Come on, help me out here, Wrath Man. Yeah, I'm not convinced by the Wrath Man. He's kind of cool, but I feel like he's not as good as, like, you know... Ooh, Serana's running up ahead to here. More over there. Just give her a bit more support while I just kind of have a little poke around here. And one handed up to 97 now. That's going pretty well pretty quickly. And one more bone. Man almost dead. Need to do a spot of healing in a second, but that's fine. Right. This place seems under control. But yeah, I swear I saw some different stairs up. So nip back inside here. Is that the stairs I saw here? No. There are stairs up here. Because I'm pretty sure I saw this is one of the buildings with a massive soul gem up top. There was... Well, maybe there was something nearby. There might have been something nearby. This place, it's pretty easy to get lost in. So I think I'm a little bit on the lost side, actually. Still, up here, I'm expecting to find another page of that story. Or a bare minimum, another... Ah! Big chest and a large sack. Ah! Five soul husks. Nice. And the chest. Major restoration. Another Atronach Forge recipe for Daedric boots. Ah! Ebony boots... Then, something, spend soul gem, something. Yeah, okay, fine. So that is basically just slightly wibbly English. All right. And yes, indeed, there is a big old thing over there, but it's not accessed from this side. If I want to get up there, I need to find another way around. Nothing around here leads up to that. Fine, there must be a way to get up to the other side from here. Yeah, because I need to get up to this side, but I'm not seeing much in the way of stairs. Hang on, let's just loop around the outside here. Around the outside of here, and... Again, some of these buildings are very odd. So, while I'm in this part of the world, just keep gathering these things in case someone else wants to trade for them too. And then I think I just saw over here something that looked a bit on the interesting side. Some glowy stuff. And yeah. Hello, we got glowy stuff. Over here, including... Ah! Is that a ghost cow? You've brought your cow into the soul can. That's cool. 
got a really cool little cow here and all the flipping soul husks in the world. Nice. Who are you exactly? You're just a random farmer. I wonder if the fire is still burning in the Imperial City. Right, so this guy's just basically dedicated himself to farming for literally no reason forever. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. If you're going to be trapped here for all eternity, it's probably best you have a hobby. I am now, by the way, completely hopelessly lost, because those aren't the same wibbly towers as before. But actually, that feels pretty big and important over here, wherever this is. This is the... That's not the way I'm going. I think I found my way to a different area over... Oh, bloody hell. I am completely lost and have no idea where that salesman is anymore. I need to go and find him at some point, because, yeah, I'd quite like to... Ooh, hello. We've got... Ooh. Right. I need to retrieve Arvek's soul. D do I? Who's Arvek? Who's Arvek? When did he lose his soul? I feel like I've missed a few bits of story here, but apparently I need to save Arvek's soul for some reason from the Mist Men. So let's just kill some Mist Men here. Yep, luckily they're not so tough, actually. Nice. I'm a lot tankier than I used to be thanks to that vampire armor. I'm liking that. Yeah, I'm just going to grab his... Oh, was this skull or his soul I was supposed to be saving? Right, well, I've got the skull. Right, okay. I thought it said soul, but I might have just misread that. Maybe I'm just trying to save his skull. Or maybe I'm getting confused. Right, now I need to return Arvek's skull to... Wait, hang on, that was a horse skull. <gasps> if I return his skull to him, do I get to ride the ghost horse? Or are you Arvek or something? Hello, who are you? Can you explain to me what the bloody hell's going on here? No, you're just a random soul. Arvak, you saved him. His soul is free, I can feel it. He's such a loyal beast. Here, I'll teach you how to call him to you. Oh my goodness. He'll help you get around this wretched place. But I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace sunnier. Oh my goodness, do I actually get to summon the ghost horse? Goodbye, hero. Take good care of Arvac for me. Such a good horse. Please tell me I can summon that outside the soul cairn, because that'd be the most amazing thing in the world. Summon Arvac from the soul cairn to act as your steed. Oh my flipping goodness, I actually can. I actually flipping can summon Arvac. That's amazing. Okay, hang on. Hang the flip on. Hang the flip on. Hang the flip on. Who's there? Summon horse. And then, no. Ride Arvac. Get on the, get on the horse. Oh my goodness, I've got a demon ghost horse. This is the best thing. Everyone else, take care of whatever that is for me. Seriously. Because I've now got a demon ghost horse and nothing else flipping matters. Oh, that's so cool. I'm presuming it doesn't even matter if he dies. So I'm just basically like summoning him from here because he's undead anyway. Oh, my flipping goodness. Yes, yes. Just no, no, get off. No, get, get off. I want you to... There we go. Oh, my goodness. I've now got a ghost horse. This is the best thing ever. And the ghost horse, I think, is now trying to get involved in the fighting. He's charging up the stairs to actually help me fight. Oh, bless you, Arvac. Admit you, you're, you're kind of in the... Arvac, you're... You're in the way a bit. I'm gonna... You're slightly... Slightly in the way. There we go. Good horse. Right, someone's just... I thought someone just fell. Oh, someone did fall down there. Right, hang on. No, no, it's fine. Ouch. Someone's attacking me. Wait, it's not Arvac, is it? No, you're fine. Right, who's up here? Bloody hell, what's going on? Right, just hang my way for all you bastards with my new armor. Not so difficult. Get up top to here. And now I've got a... What was the point of coming up here again? I don't flipping know. I guess on the plus side, I can kind of reorientate myself, which kind of helps. And yeah, having the opportunity to do a quick bit of healing wouldn't hurt either. Fine, so uh, there's something over there. I feel like that's where I ultimately want to be going. And then this is, this is the edge of the world around here. So where have I been before? If that's over there... I feel like the area and the direction I've been to before must be like... Okay, that must be that over there. Okay, I must need to go back in that direction before I go and actually speak to Serana's mother over here. That strikes me as, as fairly sensible. Yes, okay! You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I would say that is enough for now. We've got ourselves a ghost horse. We've got ourselves into this horrific shadow dimension thing. We will pick this up next time as we go and find... What's her name? Valerica? I think her name's Valerica. As well as finding our way back to the actual salesman at the beginning of this second bit. 
Because we can give him some soul husk. See what he was actually selling. <laughs> oh, this I like. This is a nice big open area with all sorts of fun stuff in it. I do rather approve. So, that's coming up soon. In the meantime, I've been John. It's been many a true nerd. And the spin, Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.